Good advice there. So we did see numerous severe thunderstorm warnings last night and plenty of rain. Once the severe storms were over, we were left with those flash flooding all over town and some of the worst of which was on the east side. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland has more. Multiple businesses on the east side were impacted by this flooding and some of the owners were surprised to see how much rain this area got. Just south of the Fort Lowell and Country Club intersection are a few businesses that are near low lying areas that flood very easily when it rains. And last night there was plenty of that heavy rain which caused major flooding and even had some stranded drivers. Beverly Makach owns Trenza Hair Studio nearby and had to do some cleaning outside before she got to work. And it messed up all our front landscaping too, right? and then it happened last night I actually have a rain gauge and it was um, 2.3 inches. Something to note is that along with the rain received in the area there was a lot of runoff from higher terrain that flowed into the intersection. Vibe Smoke Shop is also nearby and is open 24 hours and they saw disruption last night as well. We've had a couple of people that have been down there when it does flood they'll talk about their belongings being washed off or even some people who are nap and will wake up saying that they'll wake up washed off down the uh, wash. Both Isaiah and Beverly were not at the businesses when the flooding happened and were surprised to see just how bad it got. That is gnarly. Now I knew I knew the rain was hectic, but I didn't know it was that bad. Yes, that's what it looked like a couple weeks ago. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. As of this morning, everything was cleared up and all that was left was sand across the road. But you can tell by looking at the plants that there was a lot more water moving through that wash. From the east side, Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.